Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Dewey Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Dewey Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 53 in the Dewey Rheims Bible, but Psalm 54 in the RSV. Unto the end, in verses, understanding for David. Again, this psalm contains the knowledge of David, written out in the verses of one of his songs. When the men of Ziph had come and said to Saul, Is not David hidden with us? This refers to one of the times when David was on the run from Saul, a story from 1 Samuel 23, verses 14 to 20. However, to sum it up, Ziph was a desert location where David and his men were hiding from Saul, but the other inhabitants of Ziph decided to go to Saul and tell him where David was hiding, forcing David and his followers to flee to a different area. That betrayal must have upset him a lot, and it seems to have encouraged him to write this psalm as well. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me in thy strength. David appeals to God for judgment because he trusts that God will judge him more mercifully than Saul has. O God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Please listen to me. For strangers have risen up against me, and the mighty have sought after my soul, and they have not set God before their eyes. People who have no reason to hate me have treated me like their enemy, and powerful people want me to die, not caring about their obligations to God. For behold, God is my helper, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. If people knew that God protects and helps me, and if they cared about what God wants, they'd be acting very differently. Turn back the evils upon my enemies, and cut them off in thy truth. Please allow my enemies to fall victim to the harm they want to cause to me, so that they actually lose the ability to do further harm. I will freely sacrifice to thee, and will give praise, O God, to thy name, because it is good. I'll worship God and make sacrifices, because it's the right thing to do. Again, nowadays this would be prayer, fasting, and giving to the poor. For thou hast delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye hath looked down upon my enemies. I saw my enemies, and because of your blessings I was able to evade them. So, this is a psalm that appeals to God for help and protection, to bring justice upon enemies and evildoers in general. It also contains the request for God to judge, overriding the judgment of any person or group of people. This is a common theme in the writings of David, the appeal to the absolute, true justice of God. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.